uh, dear students from India, it's my pleasure in inviting Sun Hang from ISEP in France, who will be talking about computer science and information systems. Most of you in India look for this program when you want to go abroad. So over to you, Sun. Now, I fully understand that. Actually, I just come back from India. Uh, I have um, admission tour with Campus France. Uh, okay. in India, in different big cities in India, in Delhi, uh, in uh, Kolkata, uh, in Bangalore, in Mumbai. So we already have a tour in India and I know the passion of uh, Indian students, which uh, they are looking for the higher education in Europe, especially in computer science, information technology, uh, data science, uh, artificial mm -hmm. intelligence. Yes. Great, great. So you know it all. So I'm sure the students are going to benefit from your session. Over to you. Thank you. Yeah, I hope to. Um, uh, Sanjeev, I have a little uh, requirement. Could I share a video with you with the link, the YouTube link with the student? I would like to show the video first, then I start my presentation after. Yeah, you can you can go on the first, second, fifth button. That's okay. Video, YouTube, and you can type the link. It will play. Okay. Yeah. So I will share the video first, and I will start. Right yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Should I start now? Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me for this session of EZEP. So as I mentioned before, uh, we are an engineering school which specialized in information technology, in computer science, uh, in electronics. So today I would like to uh, in introduce a little bit more to all of you. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. Okay, uh, so let's start. Okay, during my inter uh, during this presentation, I will tell you a little uh, bit about our school, the edu uh, education system and EZEP, uh, what kind of international partnership, corporate partnership uh, we have. And for sure, I know some of you would like to continue your further study for a PhD. So I will talk a little bit about our research activity at EZEP, uh, followed by student life. And in the end, for sure, uh, I will present a little bit of job placement of our graduate students. So ESAP is a French engineering graduate school in digital technology. So you can see here we are specialized in four domains, computer science and cybersecurity, electronics, telecommunication and IoT, image processing, data science, and AI. 
And yes, we are a private graduate uh, school, but we are non-profit. Uh, we, are, we are established in 1955, and we have more than 60 years of history. And you can see all the logos here. Uh, so we are the members of Physic, CTI, Grand Ecole. Uh, maybe some of you, maybe um, you are not familiar with the French system. So in France, there is a system called University, and there is a system called Grand Ecole. Uh, for Grand Ecole, actually, is uh, for students uh, uh, who will study, uh, uh, which they have. Um, uh, for example, for a high school student, they opt attend their high school diploma, and they will enroll for a two year of pre uh, preparatory courses, and then uh, they have to participate a uh, very hard uh, competition called uh, concours. Then after that, they will enter to the engineering circle, and after three years of engineering studies, and they will re uh, receive a graduate degree, so which is equivalent to a master degree. Uh, so we are belong to Gohan Ecole Graduate uh, Engineering School. And our uh, master engineering degree is accredited by CTI, is a French engineering uh, uh, association and also recognized by French state. And uh, you can see here, there is a logo for EuroAce. So our ma engineering master degree is highly recognized in Europe. Um, so, for example, if you want to look for a job after graduation uh, in European countries with a French engineering graduate degree, uh, you can easily find a job. And uh, we have 1,650 students. And in 2018, we have 350 uh, uh, graduates. And you can see the size of a graduate, uh, graduate engineering school in France. Uh, I mean, not all the schools, but uh, it's very often that graduate engineering schools, the size is quite small. Um, it's not like a giant uh, university campus with faculty of law, faculty of art, faculty um, uh, of uh, literature. Uh, actually, we are specialized in one domain, and uh, that's why the size of the school is not huge. And we have elite education, and this is the reason that uh, in each promotion, actually, we only have 350 graduates. And until now, we have around 900 alumni network. And uh, in the video, you can see that we have two campuses. The first campus is located in the heart of Paris, uh, which is in the um, uh, Latin uh, quarter uh, is 16th Street of Paris. We, uh, we call it Heart of Paris. And in the video, I don't know if let's say you, you uh, see uh, a lady actually is a, a director for Stanford. Actually, we host for Stanford University uh, for last 18 years. So they have um, uh, a sub campus in our sixth floor in our campus one. So we have partnership is more than 18 years. And and uh, we have the second campus, which is located in Isile Molino, so uh, which is considered a smart city since 1990. And uh, a lot of technological companies like Microsoft, Cisco, Orange, Huawei, they are all located in this campus. I'm located in this campus as a second campus. And for all the students, actually, you will have courses in campus one and campus two. So actually, between these two campuses, only 20 minutes by metro. Uh, the, the second part, I will talk about the education uh, at EZEP. We offer device education programs. We do offer engineering graduate program. We offer innovation and entrepreneurship program and we do offer specialized masters and we do offer uh, doctoral programs and for the special uh, case I mean for the uh, professional uh, uh, IT domain uh, professional uh, employees, if let's say they want to have continue study in, special, uh, in specified domain, they can uh, continue to uh, choose a, special uh, a specialized domain in our school to continue their further study. So this is a special option for the professional uh, 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 specialist in IT domain. So yes, we do offer five different different programs. 
Okay, so here is an overview of a five-year engineering graduate program. So as I mentioned before, for a French uh, high school graduate student, they will first enroll uh, to the preparatory courses, uh, which is uh, you can see here for for example mathematics, physics, uh, robotics, IT fundamental courses, uh, e electronic fundamental courses, management, foreign language. Uh, foreign language and cultures and extra. This is for um, uh, preparatory courses. And then uh, after a computation, but for foreign students, if let's say uh, you have already uh, a bachelor degree, you won't participate this computation. You will, uh, for example, for Indian students, you, if you have a uh, B-Tech degree, uh, four years B-Tech degree, you can enroll directly to the fourth year and fifth year to obtain the engineering graduate degree. And uh, for a high school uh, student, I don't know if today, if is there any high school students, if you want to join this five year program, it's possible. And you can join our two years uh, preparatory courses in our campus. And also, um, I mean, as you are international student and you join our uh, five year engineering graduate program, you can exempt for this uh, uh, very hard uh, computation, the concours after two years, and you can enroll to the engineering circle directly. Yes, and during this uh, three years engineering circle, and uh, the first year actually is fundamental courses. For all the students, they will have the same courses in our school, and they will have telecommunication and net network, electronics, programming, uh, signal processing, and extra. So it's all fundamental courses. And after that, uh, start from fourth year, uh, all the students, they will have the chance to choose different specialization. So um, in the fourth year, year and fifth year student will have their specializations and they will have their opportunity to do their final year internship and for the local student who follow a five-year program they will have opportunity to go overseas uh, for at least one semester with our 135 partners all over the world and then for the excellent student which have excellent academic performance for sure uh, they will have the opportunity to candidate for our phd program but once again our phd program is very selective uh, okay so yes we offer eight different specializations so for example information systems software engineering embed systems wireless telecommunication iot business intelligence digital security and network el as uh, e-house uh, innovation and entrepreneurship and we do have a double degree in france with different universities but for foreign students actually uh you have to stay in our campus uh for two years i mean one and a half for academic courses and six months uh, uh internship uh, so uh, for the double degree is more um, for local students. And you can see here uh, the three options, software engineering, embed systems, wireless telecommunication, and IoT is highlighted in blue color because this these three um, specializations are taught in fully in English. So if let's say some students say, I don't speak French, may, may I follow your program? Yes, for sure. If you have a bachelor degree uh, in uh, engineering, uh, in I mean related engineering domain, you can candidate for these three options, which are fully taught in English. And um, in our campus, we ha do have lectures, we have tutorials, we, uh, we have practical courses. And one of our innovative teaching method is project-based learning. So in this kind of classes, you can see this photo. So normally in the beginning of the semester, the professors uh, will uh, give a subject. So students, they will work in a small group and they will do a um, for example, each two weeks, they will do a, a small presentation to the professor to show the progress. And in the end of the semester, they have to submit a report and do a final presentation uh, for their work. So uh, thanks to this kind of teaching method, we try to collaborate students in a small group in an international contest because we have French students, we have Indian students, we have other international students. So in this kind of project-based learning, uh, we'll, give us, uh, we'll give them uh, not only uh, 
uh, um, opportunity to develop their technical uh, skills and also give them the uh, opportunities to develop their soft skills like project management, communication, and extra. And our school um, is always encourage our students to have uh, entrepreneurship uh, spirit. So that's why we uh, uh, encourage our students to launch their own uh, a project if less is real, or they, uh, they have real good ideas. So we do provide two funds. One is interest-free loan from the government. It's called IGEU funds. And we do have ESA business angels for the excellent idea students which need financial aid. And we do have two incubators. Uh, the first one, we have the partner with Aha Métier Paris Tech. And second one, we will have a booster par uh, Paris Paris in Paris. It, it will open soon so we do have two incubators okay uh, so besides of our technical courses we do offer culture and management courses and until today we have 45 startup companies which created by our graduates and we do offer inter schools project and uh, for our local students they will have uh, two internship for international students you will have at least one uh, final year internship and um, and some of the students, they have apprenticeship opportunities. And for students to graduate from uh, ESAP, they have to obtain the TOEIC, uh, uh, actually it's an uh, English proficiency test to reach 800. And they have the opportunity to choose the second foreign language. And for Indian students, if you study an ESAP, we will uh, organize free French language courses for you. So during your whole stay in France. Okay, and then third part, I will talk about our international partners. So as I mentioned before, we have 100, more than 135 partners all over the world. And we are one of the top 10 engineering graduate school in France, which sent the most students abroad. And we do focus uh, to offer the excellent uh, overseas experience to our students, not only for local students, also for international students. As I mentioned before, we have, um, um, uh, 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 for example, many partners, excellent partners like Stanford, like UC Berkeley Extension, uh, like Tex um, de uh, uh, Texas A&M and extra. And, um, we have exchange of professors. We have international mentoring uh, by ESAP student to uh, to help uh, international student to immerse uh, the French culture. We do offer international student association and all. And for our corporate partners, uh, here I would like to share with you two key information. So thanks to our corporate partners, uh, we each year we receive 7,500 offers for internship. And the job offers, we, we receive 4,500. And we are glad to present you that based on our data, so 100% of students, they get employment in less than three months. And uh, a quick, yes. I, I will finish, finish in a few minutes. Because you yes. have to take your chance as well. Thank you. Yeah, I have fully uh, uh, noted that. Okay, so you can see that we have more than 400 uh, corporate partners. So you can see that maybe you know Capgemini, uh, as, as on two is all the um, IT consultant companies. So this kind of opportunities they will offer uh, campus fair for the job fair for our students. And for the research, maybe we will talk it during a Q&A session for those who are um, looking for uh, research uh, opportunities for PhD studies we can talk later in the later phase yes for student activities is yes, we do have uh, more than 35 uh, more than 30 uh, associations so we always in, uh, encourage our students to participate the student association and the last part, actually, I would like to share with you our employment rate. So you can see that regarding the job domain, majority of our graduates, they work in, as an information system engineer and information industrial design engineer. And the rest of that, yes, they work as an IT consultant engineer, R&D researchers, uh, met, uh, project management, commercial engineers. And regarding the sector, you can see that actually they work in the ICT domain, computing, telecommunication, but it's not only limited in this IT-related domain, they work in transport, energy, and health. 
Okay, to come to the end of my presentation, so last page, I would like to, sh to share some uh, excellent uh, graduate uh, uh, students which graduated from our school. So just take one example. For example, the vice president of IBM France, uh, Michel, uh, actually he's graduated from our school from the batch 1975. So as we have more than 60 years of history, so we have candidates already active in different sectors, in France, not only in France, in in uh in different international contests so we look for uh excellent talented students from different countries we look for talented students from india to join ezap okay so this is the end of my presentation so i would like to have questions from you please feel free to ask me if you have any questions thank you But in the given time, I will, I will request you in five minutes to maybe answer three to four questions. And, okay. if, you could, and if you could remember the name of the student who are, whose question is more relevant and give us the name also. So before answering the question, if you like the question, please note down the name of the student. Over to you. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I will start now. So, um, I, uh, Germany. Uh, GRE. Okay. Uh, so, yes, there is a question from Ashul. Ashul, what, how, uh, yes, uh, we have, we required, uh, we don't require GRE or GMAT. We require for the English test result. For example, IELTS, we require, uh, we require uh, six. And for uh, um, TOEFL IBT test, we require 79. Yes. Uh, do they feel about gap year? Okay, I want to know about high education. No, we do do not have mathematics, but Erasmus, no, to have. Okay, so uh, there is, uh, I think it's from the same student, Anvesha Shama. Yes, you would like to ask for the scholarship uh, opportunities for MS. Actually, I strongly recommend you to check Campus France scholarship website. So normally you can apply different uh, scholarship uh, from this website. But once again, a scholarship is very selective. Uh, so we uh, normally from the Campus France website, uh, they, uh, they, uh, they have to choose, for example, first degree with distinction. And also they uh, have to select, uh, I mean, really the top universities so um, it's very competitive uh, from our school side we do not offer any scholarship for ms uh, students uh, but just give you a general idea for these two years uh, ms courses is um for next batch uh, next september batch it will be eight thousand uh, nine hundred euros per year so two years will be roughly um 17,000 euros, but there won't be any um, a scholarship. But in the last semester, as I say, there will be an internship opportunity. And in France, if you work more than three months, the internship is paid internship. So you will have salaries for the last six months. So just give you a general idea. Anwasha uh, Shama. Okay, uh, I will answer the last question. Uh, I think this is a good question from Dej uh, Dash One. How different is cybersecurity in your university compared to other universities? Okay, cybersecurity is not our major. It's one of our courses in our uh, course catalog. Uh, so differences, I I don't know what you mean. What level? Um, 
we have, for example, in our campus, each year we have a hack zone computation. Uh, we very we focus on cybersecurity studies, but this is one of our subject. It's not in this major. Uh, compared to other university, first of all, we are not university. We are graduate school. So we only um, deliver uh, a master's uh, degree and PhD degrees. Um, so we are very special lines in IT domain, in um, big data, in, uh, in computer science, in AI, in all the IT actually in general is all IT related domain. So we are specialized in this domain. Uh, so I think we are quite professional in uh, cybersecurity. If you want to know the exactly what kind of cost content of cybersecurity, I can share my email address and you can send to me uh, by email and I can share with you what kind of cost content we do offer for cybersecurity uh, costs. Yes. Uh, fee structures. So I, I mentioned again. Uh, so yes. So it's next uh, batch is eight thousand nine hundred for uh, two years. Uh, so each year eight uh, eight thousand nine hundred. So two years will times two, and the last semester is in paid internship. Yeah. Yes. Application website I can share with you. So um. Uh, I will share with all of you the application website. And uh, actually, you can find in our web, the ESAP.fr, in our English website, there will be uh, application procedures. But as I'm here, I can share you directly, but you can find in our website too, our English website. You can, uh, it's open now, so you can apply now. Yes, so this is our uh, application website. Okay, and I would like to lastly share my email address. So in case any of you have any question, so please feel free to send me an email. <coughs> yes. Thank you, Sun. Yes. Thank I you very much mm -hmm. for your excellent presentation. Thank you. Uh, and uh -huh. thanks for sharing your email ID. I'm sure you're going to be inundated with a lot of emails. <laughs> Uh -huh. So well, that's good. That's the whole purpose. I hope so. Program. Yeah. So now before you go, of course, uh -huh. before I thank you, give me the name of two students. Who sure. Are sure. I think the first one is called Anvisha Sharma. Anvisha Sharma. Okay. And the second one is called Tej Dash One. Tej Dash One. Yes. Okay. So thank you very much, and uh, Anvisha and Tezesh, our team will contact you for the prize. Okay. Uh, you, okay. So thank you very much, Sun, for um, your time. Yes, excuse yeah. me. I just would like to uh, add one point because I received some question regarding the profile of their application. So we uh, do a sub student which have a BTEC uh, or bachelor in science degree with four years education and specialize, for example, in electronic uh, engineering, in uh, communicate electronic and communication, triple E, uh, IT, uh, computer science. But for students, for example, they from medicine or they from other uh, majors. I'm sorry that we do not have this kind of major for that yeah appreciate your answer thank okay. you very much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you so much okay